Hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and Hearst, and today it's time for a little bit of happy. So we thought we would do something fun today with some roses. Oh, let me clean the space off a little bit. We got some free spirits, which are my favorite. Oh, so I can pick them up. And we have some orange spray roses, which oh, I'm taking the. And then we're gonna do some red monsters. For these and then we're going to add some pink Floyds there it's a great color then we're actually going to do a few of these really beautiful ranunculas in the hot pink or fuchsia color some tea leaves a little bit of, of artificial vine some pink cushion protea some green pit some fuchsia clover some kind of orangey coxcomb, but except not that piece, that one. And then some Godesia. I love Godesia. And then some Sweet William or Dianthus. And then maybe if we need it, a little bit of fuchsia stock. So today's trick's not really gonna be so much about the flowers, is about making the container look a little bit different. So this is a bunch of artificial vine we have. So how is everybody, how are all of the happy family out there? We're good today. We have friends from London, South Carolina, Delaware, Dubai. Miss Joanne asked, how are we? We are, we are good. We have friends from New Jersey, Houston, Conway. Great. So Lots and lots of places today. Perfect. So I just added a little bit of texture to the outside of this glass vase. So today's trick is going to be actually we're going to actually make a collar on the outside edge of the vase. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and put our cover up, what I call cover up, leaf in here. So today's trick is actually going to be taking these leaves and we're going to cut these off with a straight edge like that. I'm going to cut them all at one time across the bottom and get rid of that. We have friends from New York, Springdale. Awesome. This cat is from McGee, Mississippi, and that is where my roommate from junior year in college Oh, lives. my goodness. Small world. Small world. It is a small world. I saw someone on there yesterday from Friendswood, Texas, which is right outside of Houston, and that's where a good friend of mine, Lynn Larry McLean, used to live. She's moved to Dallas now. She didn't move to the big city, but she lived there forever. So what we want to do is we're going to take these leaves and we're just gonna insert those right. Y'all probably thinking, what in the world is he doing? That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> just kidding. Hey, should I get the turntable? Well, I was wondering, I think you should. Oh, will you reach it with your oh. mic though? No. I don't know. It'll be like, like I'm yeah. hung up on a fishing line. <laughs> so, oops, my bad. So as you can tell, I'm going back around and I'm inserting the leaf halfway into the next leaf. Meaning on this leaf, I'll go back and insert it right into there. I'm putting it in front of the base leaf. Trying to at least. Oop, gotta pull that up a little bit. Oh no, Miss Liz said that she's sick and at home today. Oh no. We have friends from Hawaii, Puerto Rico, Finland, Alabama, Michigan, Tennessee, Kentucky. Great. Or Little Rock and Newport, Arkansas. Uh, Just all of All about Arkansas. So I'm going to add one more to this. From Pakistan. Great. Let me add one more to there. But you can always maneuver these. Now, here's the trick. What you could do is actually go back, and I'll show you on this one. You could easily go back and use a glue dot from Oasis. And the way you put that on there, which someone shared this with me the other day because I couldn't get it to work, you would put it on there first, then you would peel it off. But anybody that knows me knows I lack a lot of patience. Oh, goodness gracious. I think it's because it got wet. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you would just take it like that and it would glue there. 
uh, Christina, help. <laughs> you anyway, can do it. so there. It, forget it. I'm not doing it. Anyway, so now we're going to go back and we're going to bend these leaves in like this. And I don't want you to get too worked up about it. Oops. My center leaf's spinning out here, guys. So we have friends from Australia. Miss Christy is in Texas. She said she'll see us Thursday. Oh, awesome. Miss Barbara from El Dorado, North Carolina, Texas, Hot Springs, Canada. Cool. So what I'm, you know what I'm gonna wind up doing, I'm just gonna bend these down. And then when I finish, I'll go back and insert them in. They're not working like they were supposed to. Hey, it's live. You learn and you live. You, you live and you learn. Yeah, yeah. Live, and you you live, learn. live and you learn. So there's that. Okay. So now we're going to go back. That was a hot mess. Let's go back now and put a few pieces of pit in here. Oh, Miss Kay said, I'm from Hattiesburg, Mississippi, 35 miles from McGee. And you know what? I have my other junior roommate was from Mount Olive, so I know where Hattiesburg and oh, I have my family goodness. down there. So, well, we know where McGee is. We have is. someone from Croatia. Oh wow! So now we're going to go back and start filling this in, and let's take all that foliage off of this coxcomb, except for the very tip. And everyone's going like, "What in the world has he done?" Nah. nah. We all have faith in you. Well, I'm glad you got it today. We have people from North Carolina, Kansas, oh, Sarasota, Florida. Miss Margaret says that she loves your live videos. <laughs> they are they are live, that's for sure. So let's get one more piece of this. I need to clean this piece up, looks like a little bit. So Coxcomb reminds always reminds me of the summertime because my grandmother and my mother used to plant this out along the ditch. And it, we always called it brain flower because it looks like brains when it matures. Yep. And in the South, it gets really big. This, this comes from, from California, so it's not quite the size that it normally would be from the other. Let me clean this off. Do you want your turner? We have someone that can give you your turner if you want Can you, you do me a favor? Can Emma, you give can you us the turner? turner? There. Of course. <laughs> Perfect we cleaned, timing. We cleaned off yesterday and then we forgot to put it back. I'm sorry. I was too enthralled with trying to figure out how to tape these leaves on here. There we go. Maybe I should try one now with a bent. Maybe so. Maybe. Oh, Lord. Ooh. Remember, like, one side has it over a little bit. You have to peel up. I know, but... There it went. Look, Miss Ruby said, I'm from Mendenhall, Mississippi, which is next to McGee. And you know what? That's where Faith moved when she got married. So. Oh, goodness. If you know the Banus Fuel clan that's my friends okay someone said they never would have thought to use coxcomb it's a great filler almost like a hydrangea so i'm not going to mess with that anymore until we finish miss melanie said that she's from los angeles and she said that you belong out here with your gorgeous arrangements oh, because every right arrangement right. is magnificent magnificent and so different well there's a ton of wonderful designers in California who I call my friends so if you're looking around for somebody just give me a call and I'll fix you up your sister said I remember red cox come in your grandmother's yard yeah pretty much and we would dry it and people love to dry it especially dry it and use it again for Christmas so let's go back and start placing some of our roses and get that out of here oh you know what I could do I could actually go ahead and do this a little bit of this other dianthus next. Miss Joanne said, no, you can't move to California. No, nope, never, nope. Not thinking about that at all. Be too far away from my babies. Miss Cheryl said, enjoy your lives so much. You are such a bright spot in the day. Thank you for sharing your talents oh, and you're personality. Sweet. You're sweet, thank you. Thank you for being a part of our happy family. We have a ton of people that love these colors and the coxcomb, or however you say that word. They don't love the leaves yet? <laughs> well, I don't know. I think they're like me going, what is this hot mess going to turn into? Thank you for Oh, look, all someone that just said, I love the way that your leaves put them, that you put the leaves. Well, 
<laughs> Hold on, it's gonna change in a minute, hopefully. <laughs> so anyway, hay, you know what? If you can't laugh about it, why do it, right? That's exactly anyway, right. That's right. Miss Marge said that they used to call it rooster comb. Ro I've never heard it called it, but you bet it is because of the. And she said, top. "No, he can move to Texas." Te Texas, We've got lots of good friends in Texas too. So let's do this. Let's go back. I think I'm going to add this last. I'm kind of afraid. This is Godesia. I've already showed you, but I think the cool thing about Godesia, though, it looks like little okra. Anybody from the country know what okra is? That looks like little okra. I think it's so cool because it reminds me of okra. So Miss Ginger asked, would you you all consider doing a month, like one a month, where you told us what flowers to get in our supplies and they could learn how to do it with you? Well, we're working on that actually. We are working on we're it. We're all working on that where we would actually would ship you the flowers and then we would have a virtual class all together and we would all play with the flowers and make something up. We are working on that. Right now there's a huge, there's a pretty big shortage of product out there right now. So we're having trouble getting things economically landed. So that's what we're working on. We're working on some different things actually. So we my, had people ask. So my Janae says, your mama says y'all aren't moving anywhere. Yeah, that's right. Mama says, so we also have someone from Nicaragua watching today. Oh, cool. So these are called Pink Floyd. Aren't they cool? I love those. And they're going to open. They open pretty well. They're a lower petal count, so they're going to kind of blow up like a big garden rose. I cannot believe epic fail on the leaves. <laughs> well, Miss Charlene just said, I saw you tuck one of the leaves in the arrangement, but you took it out. So if that's I now where it's know gonna go. what you are doing. That's what, what we're going to do at the end. We're just going to actually, actually, you know me, I'm, 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 I procrastinate in the fact that I don't have the patience to, to do those glue dots. The glue dots would work. I just, ugh. Stresses me out. So these are red monsters. Right, just a pop of this really fun tomato we read in with the rest of this. We have lots of people saying that is great. Would a knife be included? Yes. That would be so much fun to do the class. They definitely want to be in the class. Oh, awesome. You yeah, were trying to think about maybe doing like a, a monthly thing or quarterly thing and also have different price ranges where you could get, you know, different pack packages, but we would all play together and then we would all make an arrangement and then you could keep it at home and maybe doing some well i could do a silk one and maybe some fresh ones and the flowers would be drop shipped from the farms that we buy from so so we have someone that asked do you put what you want to show up the most and last and they thought you yes. said okra flower what it looks like about? okra it's it's godesia it's not in yet but look at that it looks like a little okra for the people that live in the country, this what's <laughs> the people that don't live in the country, this is what okra would look like growing, and it always grows on the top, and it grows in the heat of the summer. It has to be really hot for okra to grow, really. At least that's the what I remember it being. So now we're going to go back and pop a pop of this orange. Ooh, this is looking kind of fun. Miss Milla just discovered us, and she um loves your design she's from fort wayne indiana oh great someone asked are those ranunculus they are ranunculus i'm gonna spin this around and start working on the back side more people are saying virtual classes yes yeah yeah miss gina said that her day is not complete without happy time well we would still do our happies we would, this would just be something that people would get to do plus some so <laughs> this is crazy look <laughs> Miss Mary said <laughs> many, that if you... How many people, how many people are going, uh-uh, like, bye. <laughs> no. Miss Mary said that if if you move, the happy family moves with you. Oh, cool. Well, we're all happy. So someone asked, good. what is a blue dot? Huh? I think they meant a glue dot. Oh, a glue dot. A glue dot is this. This is made by Smithers Oasis. They're his best friend right now. <laughs> No, I gotta have a class. There's so, the lady told me uh, one of our fault, one of our happiers told me she goes. I always put take mine, 
Oh, not that one. Oh, I peeled off the whole thing. Okay, there's one side. I know, but look. Let me see it. Here. No, I got. I understand okay. it's right there, but oh, who can even see this mess anymore? I'm too blind. Gosh. Anyway, and it looks see, like... See, there we go. It, it looks like the stuff that you get your credit card on, and they type mm -hmm. your credit card. And you're supposed to be able to take it, especially when the product's dry. See, some people said they like the leaves the way that they are. Well, okay, whatever. Miss Dorcas <laughs> said she loves working with glue dots. Could you come and give Mr. Chris a class, yeah. please? Yeah, Chris, Chris needs a class. That actually worked there. Yay. Woo yeah, woohoo. Anyway, so if we have time, if not, we're probably going to go too long. I'm just going to shove them in there like I planned on doing anyway. Okay, sure. That's fine. <laughs> the arrangement at top looks great. So we have tons of people that said they want to sign up for the class. So we will get y'all more details yeah, on that. Yeah, we'll get more details. We're, we are working on it. I promise. So now let's go back and add maybe two of these pink cushions up in the top. So someone asked if shipping to Florida would be available for the classes. And yes, yes. that would yes. be available. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. We have lots of people saying that they love fried okra. Ugh. Watching from Ugh. Oregon, I love California. fried okra. I used to eat like popcorn. My, my, my mama would make it. My grandma would make it. Oh, man. I'd rather have fried okra than popcorn, actually. Yeah, we have lots know. of people saying, I love fried okra. I don't know if I want to add this. I think this is too loosey. Shane said, hey, Chris. Fun as always. Hey, Shane. More people. I would love a virtual class. Okay. Well, we'll see. And we have lots of people saying those sticky dots are great. So <laughs> we just need a tutorial for you. <laughs> Someone asked, what are those leaves called? These are tea leaves. <laughs> Someone said they're <laughs> laughing so hard. <laughs> we are off the tracks. We are spinning out of control see, here. See, Miss Laura said, poke a hole in the leaf and put the stem through it. And that's uh, what there you go. Just that's normally what I normally do. This I'm just going to use tension, huh? What is the variety of the orange roses? Orange. Anyway. Well, maybe the free spirit ones. Maybe oh, that's what they're asking. free spirit. I have no clue what this is. Shane, if you're watching, tell them what, what the name of this is. Yes, Miss Deanna said the happy of the month club. Yeah, happier, happy, the happiest. Someone asked, do you like broiled okra? Um, I like it in some uh, dishes like gumbo and things that it belongs to. I don't mind it in soup. My wife hates it. She hates the consistency of it. So really don't get to have it that often in dishes. If, if we do, we're picking a half of it out by the time it's over with. We have lots of people saying they love these colors together. Oh, good. This might be one of my favorite arrangements we've done. I like the colors. And you love the leaves. Yes, they're perfect. They're beautiful. You do not love these leaves. I know you like the book at the back of my hand. I know. You'll be like going, oh, why don't you do those leaves? Let's just take those out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Thank you. So we have lots of people saying they would love the class. We have people from Oklahoma, the Philippines, Wyoming. When we finish, she'll go, hated it. Anyway, so. No, I love it. So now I'm going to just tuck these in. I'm going to use the tension of the base all the way around because I'm lazy and I don't know how to work Someone the Someone said dot. they look like orange unique roses. Um, could be, but unique normally is a bigger variety than that. So I don't know. Could be. Oh, looky there. Looky there. Oh, much better. Mucho better. Mucho better. Miss Doe said if you come to Georgia, she'll fry you some okra. Oh, my goodness. Well, I can be bought with food. <laughs> <laughs> so let me add one more pin cushion on this side. And then, oh, not that one. It's just snapped right off. We are all over the board today. Let me hold it. <laughs> Hot Mess Express. Hot, Hot jump mess on board. <laughs> anyway, so at least we're consistent, right? That's true. That's true. So let me clean this off. And then I thought what I might do, which I know drives some of y'all absolutely cuckoo bonkers, but I kind of like it. Let's go back and put just a little bit of vine on top. We have everyone saying superb, gorgeous, love uh, this. I think Janae's saying hint, hint, I want this. Oh, okay. Well, mama wants, mama normally gets, right? Someone said watching as we drive through Utah, but she said her husband's driving, so no worries. Miss Sue said I would definitely do the class. 
Oh, awesome. So I know people are, some people are going to like the net. Some people are not going to like the net, but I like Well, I think just, if it's just not too much of a net, Too much of that. Really I'm just going to almost stop right now. That was like a little bit of it. Just Wait, you're going to stop? Well, I'm no out way. Of, I'm out of time. Okay, okay. People are like leaving, I'm sure. No, that nobody's leaving. Okay. But anyway, so what do you think? Kind of digging the leaves finally. Oh, man, we came a long way. <laughs> we sure did. We came a long way on that one. Anyway, I hope y'all had as much fun today as we've had because we've had a pretty good time today. So anyway, thank y'all for joining our Happies with Chris, and we will see you tomorrow. How many more days till the 100? Friday's the 700. 100. We got to figure out what we're doing. I have some tricks up my sleeve. I know. Renee said you called her earlier, and I was like, what? I did. Yeah, okay. Anyway, okay. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank y'all for joining us, and y'all have a blessed and safe evening. Bye.